In this video, you are going to learn how to set up a Facebook lead generation ad. This is a perfect tool if you are wanting to generate more leads and inquiries for your business, as well as growing an email database if you are wanting to get more sales. Hey everybody, Stuart McAdam here. Welcome to today's video. I look forward to taking you through step by step how to set up an on Facebook lead generation ad. Now just before we get started with today's tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button if you find anything in this video useful. Thank you to Danhoff Allo for allowing us to film today's tutorial in their ad account. If you're a lover of aloe vera products, head over to danhoffallo.com and enter the discount code STUART10 at checkout for 10% off your next order. So here we are in the Danhoff Allo ad account and to get started with setting up a Facebook lead generation ad, we just need to navigate over to the green create button over on the left hand side of the ad account. We then click on it and that is going to bring up the different campaign objectives. Obviously we want to try and get more leads, so let's select leads as the campaign objective. We then want to select continue after that and in this example we want to select manual leads campaign so that we have more creative control over setting up the ad campaign. Let's click on it until it turns blue and then we want to select continue. Now once you get to the next step you will have the three layers of campaign, ad set and ad itself. Let's go first to the ad set level and look for the conversion location. We can see here that there are a couple of different options available and you may find it defaults to a certain option such as website. For Facebook lead generation ads we want to make sure that we are going to instant forms and selecting it so that people who click on your ad are then directed to a form on Facebook which they can then fill out. So let's keep on going. We want to have a look at the performance goal, which is to maximize the number of leads. We want to select the right Facebook page and also make sure that you've accepted Meta's lead ad terms for advertising on Facebook leads on the campaign. Once that is done, we can then go down to the ad level and we can begin setting up the ad of what type of ad we want whether we want a single image or video or a carousel of images in this, in this example let's just stay with the single image or video for now we want to then select the ad creative that we want to use which is the image or video which is going to display over here where i'm circling my mouse so let's bin the current one and let's go and find an image that is suitable for this particular type of campaign. You can see here in the media library there are a couple of different options available. If you haven't got any images yet, you can always just select the upload button to upload the images from your computer that you want to place into the ad campaign. So we're going to select images and then press next. You can then see the preview of what it looks like in the different placements. So right here in the stories and reels and the search results, there's a bit of gray space. So we want to change the format to 916 so that it's showing up throughout the story and reel image spec and it looks professional. And we want to do the same thing as well by changing the image resolution on the search results. And after that's done, we just want to select next. That's going to bring up the different Advantage Plus creative options. In this example, we're going to turn all of those off and just maintain full creative control over our ad. So we're going to select done. And you can begin to see that the ad has got a new look to it. The image is looking nice and professional and now we just need to add some ad copy in and there we go i've added in two primary text options which will show up above the picture and two headlines which will show up beneath the picture and my 
And my tip for beginners is to always include as many primary text and headline options as possible. This will allow Facebook to serve many different variations to potential leads and customers so that your ads can optimize quicker and give you a more cost-effective result. We want to have a look at the call to action button and see if it's what we want. You can see right now it's sign up. Let's say we want to change it to something else. We just click on the drop down arrow button which will open up the different options and let's say we want to change it to learn more. We just click on it and then it will then change to the learn more button. Perfect. Now we come to the instant form page here. If you want to create a new form, simply head to the create form button. Here we are right at the start of creating a new form. Just give your form a new name. Then want to go down to the form type and select more volume as that is the best beginners option we can use so that Facebook can go and find as many possible leads as it can. Going down to the intro section, you can upload a background image which will display over here and you can also give a little introduction as to what people are going to get when filling in your form. If you want to remove the greeting, you can simply select the bin icon and remove the greeting. So let's do that in this example. The next option which is the questions and let's select the drop down button so that we can get started with getting the questions in there. You have two options available to you. You can get someone's contact information which is pre-filled sections and you can add a category with the drop down section here. In this example right here, the information that matters most to us is email, full name, and getting the person's state and making sure that we also have the person's phone number just in case we want to text them particular offers. We want to then let people know how the information is going to be used so let's give a reason. You can see here, it's nice and clear exactly what they are getting from this value offering and filling in the form. Now, if you do want to ask a custom question, you can always go up to the top here and click on add question. This gives you the opportunity to ask a multiple choice, short answer, conditional question, or even a, an appointment request if you are seeking leads of that type. For the multiple choice, if we click on that, that there is a question field that someone can fill in. Let's give you a very quick example. And you can see here that I have added in a question along with two answers. And if you always want to add another answer, you can always press the plus button. If you want to remove an answer, you can always press the minus button and that answer will disappear. And there you go. That's how easy it is to set up a multiple choice option. Now that we have filled in that information and got the fields that we want people to answer, we then come down to the privacy policy. And this is very important for businesses to have. You need to add in your privacy policy from your website and if you don't have a website yet you can always use a Google Doc with privacy policy terms and conditions and add it in as a link. You can see here I have just added the link to the privacy policy for Dan Hoff Allo on their website and we are also going to provide a simple privacy policy text so it is easy for people to see exactly what it is. Once that is done, we then want to move down to the final stage, which is the message for the leads. Facebook normally auto generate here, and if you want to customize it in any way, you can simply highlight the text on the headline, the description. You can change the call to action button by clicking the drop down button and changing it. And you can also change the link text and the call to action text as well and send someone to your website or wherever you want them to go. And once all of that is done, we just want to select Publish. 
And congratulations, your form has now been added. We can see it showing up as the selected option right there. And we just want to do a final check and make sure the tracking events are set up properly and that's all looking good. And then we want to go to the new leads ad set and make sure that people are being sent to the right conversion location. That's looking fine. We've got the right Facebook page. We've got the right budget set in place. We also have the right audience and we're going to do broad based targeting for the time being on all the placements. And once we have done all that, we can come back to the lead and we can then select the publish button. And that's all it takes to create and set up a Facebook lead generation campaign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.